and you are against plastic surgery or you honestly believe that I shouldn't have got a nose job, please click out of this video. The only reason I'm filming this video is to educate others that are thinking about getting a rhinoplasty. I already posted a picture on social media and I got a lot of good comments and um, some bad ones. Some people were saying she looks so different. I don't like it. I've never felt so happy about my nose before and my nose was my biggest insecurity. So just realize that your girl's happy and that's all that matters. So if you're against plastic surgery, please click out of this video. There's no need to put any hate comments. If you have any opinion to say like, oh my God, she looks so different or I don't like her nose, I liked her old nose, please watch this whole entire video before you comment something like that. Just realize that this is my face and I could do whatever I want to it. So for my younger audience, I don't want you guys to think just because you don't like your nose, you should definitely get plastic surgery. I want people to realize that I've actually tried to love my nose. It was a long journey of like, self-love and self-hate so if you're thinking about doing any plastic surgery make sure you're doing it because you want to feel better about yourself and not because how you think you'll appeal to others ayo nose job check what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today is the day i finally get my cast off i've actually had my cast on for more than a week um, because I was in the hospital so they had to kind of like push it like back a little so here's my nose like it looks so big right now because it's really really swollen like I know it's swollen when I'm touching this and I cannot really feel it that well it's so like large from the side I'm not really scared about that because I know like your nose is gonna be swollen for six months to a year like you won't really see you can't really judge your rhinoplasty until like six months later so like right now it just looks really big looking and um i watched a lot of like rhinoplasty vlogs a lot of them ended up crying because they thought their nose was going to look like that forever uh so i'm mentally prepared for this uh once i get my cast off because i know i'm not going to really love it but i mentally prepared myself and i know that my nose isn't going to look like that in like three weeks and they won't look like that in six months so and like you could tell already like the tip of my nose is so swollen look at that it's like a, just a ball i do have a picture from the doctor of my nose when i first got it done uh before it starts swelling up and it looks really good and it definitely looks really different from then and now i'm really excited to get the cast off to be honest though because i really 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 hate this thing on my face like it's so annoying okay so me and elijah are heading out now so i'll see you guys when we get to the office okay guys so we just got to the office and elijah's chilling right there and i'm right here by the way guys if you guys didn't know i've gone thrift shopping here for the first time i've never gone thrift shopping and i got levi uh jeans because i've been wanting some for so long but why the hell are they so expensive how was that? Okay, I didn't feel that. Last staple. That's it. Oops. Got caught in here. All done. I want these six out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you can breathe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the stitch is cut. So what I'm gonna do now is grab hold of the splint and I'll pull it out. Mm -hmm. And when I do that, I want you to take a deep breath in. Okay, okay. Tell so me what. I'll let you know when. So, okay, I'm gonna grab hold of the sponge. Okay, ready? Okay, take a deep breath in. You wanna take a look at it? Yeah. What the hell? That was <laughs> my nose. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice to breathe. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so swollen. <laughs> so, so the bridge here will get more narrow and it'll come down a little bit and your tip will get more defined uh -huh. and it'll also come down and it'll be a little bit closer to your face. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back in Florida. So I'm currently 11 days post-op right now. So of course my nose is still very swollen. It's only been 11 days. It hasn't even hit two weeks yet. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my nose and I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys. Um, so please watch this part before you have any opinions on anything um, or if you're thinking about getting a rhinoplasty because this is really important. The last clip you guys got to see like my nose without any tape. Um, I'm currently wearing tape on my nose. This actually helps reduce the swelling. As you can tell in that clip, my nose is very swollen, very pointy. Before anyone comments saying, oh my god, it looks so bad, just realize that 
my nose just went through a lot of trauma and so it's going to be swollen and your nose is going to be swollen for six months to a year and i feel like a lot of people don't really talk about the recovery part of a rhinoplasty and let me tell you the recovery part is probably the most annoying thing ever you know you can't expect to get your cast off and then think that your nose looks amazing getting a rhinoplasty takes time just like if you were to get your boob job your boobs are going to look very perky and fake looking for the first couple months and then eventually it will drop so it's the same thing with your nose job too my nose is very pointy and looks bulbous right now but eventually uh during time my nose will go from this and drop and my nose will also look very bulbous as well too when you do get a rhinoplasty and you're, you're cast off please don't cry and think oh my god the world's over because your nose looks very swollen looking you have to trust the process i knew once i got my cast off like my nose was going to be swollen like i already had that mindset yet i still hated the fact that it was still on my nose another thing i want to talk about um everyone's rhinoplasty healing process is different so some people can have closed rhinoplasties and some can have open mine was an open rhinoplasty so i definitely have a lot of scarring right here on the tip of my nose and usually if you have an open rhinoplasty swelling lasts longer and another thing i want to talk about is the skin type so if you have thick skin just like like me usually africans asians and hispanic people have thicker skin um the thicker the skin the longer your swelling will be too your nose will most likely look very bulbous once you get your cast off so please don't worry i know i would watch a lot of like rhinoplasties and they're usually mostly like caucasian people and usually their nose looked really perfect once they got their cast off and that's because they usually have thinner skin i honestly could see a big difference already and it's only been 11 days i'm going to show you guys before and after pictures so this is my nose once i got the cast off and then this is about a week later. My nose kind of already looks a little less swollen. This is four days later. I currently hit two weeks post-op in this picture. I want to show you guys like this other video I watched on YouTube. You guys can check out her video. She talks about the recovery part. But this was her nose uh, once she got the cast off. And then this is her nose two weeks later. And then this is her nose three months later. So as you can tell, her nose looks very different. It doesn't look very bulbous anymore. It looks a little bit more pointier and uh, defined. Another thing I want to talk about, a lot of people were asking me why I had staples in my head and stitches on my rib. I feel like I didn't really explain my rhinoplasty that well. Um, basically, I was mainly focused on my side profile instead of my front profile. So when Dr. Yu morphed my pictures, um, you could tell that the front profile, it doesn't really have a big difference. My nose just looks very straight looking. Um, it still has that like Asian features, just looks very straight and defined. That wasn't my main concern. My main concern was mostly my uh, side profile and that's what I was really trying to focus. I still wanted to have my Asian features. Um, I wasn't really trying to make my nose smaller what usually a lot of people do when they get a rhinoplasty. I really just wanted to add height to my nose. I honestly wanted more height to my nose bridge and just a very defined straight nose because my nose did go to the right um, more than the left. And that's why I couldn't breathe 100% out of my right nostril, which I didn't know that. So doctor, you had to take rib cartilage and fast fa fascia, 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 fascia fascia. I think it's fascia. He had to take fascia from my scalp and he basically built me a brand new nose. Beautiful patient from Florida. This is her beautiful rib, which we'll use to create greater support and structure to her nose, to change her nose from being wide and bulbous to more refined and defined. So basically you can use parts of your body to build your nose or you can uh, use like a graft, like silicone graft or something to build your nose. Definitely recommend to use parts of your body because your nose will naturally grow with that eventually compared to where if you were to get a like silicone graft. Um, there's a lot of cons when you get the silicone because it could eventually move or you know come deformed. My nose isn't going to look very pointy as it is right now. It looks very pointy. Just It looks like this right now. I look very picky. You can definitely see more nostril uh, than my old nose because my old nose you couldn't see at all um but eventually it will go down in a week or so i can start wearing makeup because my stitches right here are still like healing i'm putting like scarring gel on it so far the staples on my head are healed however i do have a bald spot right here this is my bald spot right here and then um i do have a little scar under my right breast um it's not that big it's pretty small another thing i want to talk about my face is still kind of like swollen on this side like it looks a little puffier um, it's because I had surgery here. I didn't bruise at all, which was really crazy I, I didn't even have any black eyes either because they fractured my nose and I was supposed to have black eyes But for some reason I didn't bruise or have any black eyes, which is 
pretty weird because I bruise easily. I feel like it's because I was in the hospital and they gave me all those antibiotics and that's what kind of caused me to not bruise. A lot of people are commenting on my recent picture that I posted for Valentine's Day. I had to wear the tape on my nose saying, oh my god, she looks so different. Of course I look different. I got a nose job um, and it's very swollen right now so it just looks very off right now. And my top lip, I don't really have like facial expressions like right over here because of my nose and eventually that will go down too and eventually this will start getting soft but right now it's just very very hard so in that picture I was smiling and I can't smile all the way like I usually do like I was like I feel like some of y'all gonna screenshot this but this is the most I could smile see you guys can't even see my teeth so that's the most I could smile because of my rhinoplasty but eventually it'll go away and I will get my smile back too so so anyways I'm very happy with my nose and I'm glad I did what I did so if you're thinking about getting a rhinoplasty and you have an ethnic nose please do your research before you go to any doctor because you need to find someone that specializes in ethnic noses so anyways guys this is basically it for the video if you guys want me to do a recovery video and show you guys like pictures from like two months to from two weeks then I'll definitely do that for you guys so anyways I will see you guys in my next video bye